The Namibian women's national hockey team has continuously represented the country in women's international hockey competitions and collected various accolades over the years. The women's performance at the recently concluded FIH Indoor Hockey World Cup, however, still has people talking, as many were disappointed with their showcase, considering the fact that the team is ranked number one in Africa and ninth in the world. Someone who has been keeping up with the hockey indoor games is sport journalist Hesron Kapanga, who believes the team did not live up to expectations. The current World Cup, I, I, I wouldn't say out of 10, I might give them three. Uh, in the previous World Cups, I would have given them 10 out of 10, 10 out of 12 probably. But this World Cup, I, I, I think they did not bring what the whomph that we are. We know them for. Uh, in the past, they would come win a couple of games. You see, the game against Kazakhstan, that was a, a game on a silver platter. They were supposed to win that right away, but uh, after struggling to Kazakhstan and losing to Kazakhstan, then I realized things were not up to standard. The, 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 the ball play was there. It's not that they didn't play. They played good games. They had controlled games here and there, but now... Coming to the final half of the game, we, it was disappointing. We couldn't score, we couldn't convert, which is a huge disappointment for the women team. Another sport journalist who was also railing behind the team but felt somewhat let down by their performance is Michael Luanga. They tried their level best, although the result is not what we were expecting as a Namibian. I thought uh, they could have done better than uh, the men uh, who went until the quarterfinal. Uh, at the end of the day, it's all about uh, continuing where they left off and look at the other qualifiers or the, uh, the next World Cup. So, but as far as concerned, they qualified as uh, African champions and they qualified as one of the top ranked teams, uh, not only in Africa, but in the world. But overall, let's just uh, give credit where it's due. The women's team captain, Margaret Mengo, explains that the team fell short and it was a pity they could not make it to the quarterfinals like their male counterparts. We went in with a different mindset in terms of setting goals for ourselves, but when the reality kicked in, it was quite uh, devastating um, from the results of every game that we experienced. And I think this is a big eye, uh, eye opener for us as a team that um, you only win the game when the whistle is over, but you don't win the game ahead. And and I think that's something, when you look at the statistics, I mean, we, we really had good presses, presses and counter, and but just we couldn't put them away. The team has resumed training to prepare for upcoming competitions and regain their old form.